Hi everyone. Latter-day Saints remain mired in the muck of malice toward the dark-skinned. Righteous ancient Americans were white and fair and beautiful, and they hated wicked neighbors, quote, because of the cursing upon their skins. First Nephi 13:15, Jacob 3:5, Book of Mormon. Cultists hold punishment by pigment plagued the wicked Canaanites. Moses 7, 8 declares, a blackness came upon all the children of Canaan. Mormonism repeats an error that just happens to support their racism, the curse of Cain, for killing his brother. God tells Cain in Genesis 4, when you cultivate the ground, it shall no longer yield its strength to you. You shall be a vagrant and a wanderer on the earth. Cain said, my punishment is too great. I shall be a wanderer on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. The Lord said to him, therefore, whoever kills Cain, vengeance will be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord appointed a mark, King James Version, for Cain, lest anyone should slay him. Latter-day Saints baselessly believe the mark was dark skin. Brigham Young declared, some are black, uncouth, uncomely, disagreeable, and low in their habits, wild, and seemingly deprived of nearly all intelligence bestowed upon mankind. Cain slew his brother. Cain might have been killed, and that would have ended that line of human beings. Young concluded Cain fathered dark-skinned races including the Canaanites. He apparently thought that Cain and Canaanite sounded similar, thus absolutely proving his point. What deep Bible analysis. Yet Cain's line ended long before the Canaanites. He drowned in the flood. Joseph Fielding Smith, early 70s LDS leader, wrote in The Way to Perfection, still available in Kindle online right now, that during pre-mortal conflict between God and Satan, blacks were neutral. So when born on earth, God cursed them with dark skin. Bruce McConkie, Mormon apostle until 1985, wrote, We once had an estate before we came here and were obedient to the laws that were given us there. Those who were faithful there received greater blessings here, and those who were not faithful receive less. Notice three Mormon blunders. First, Cain's mark was a curse, but the Bible says it was a God-given blessing protecting him from being killed. Secondly, they teach an impossible connection between Cain, Canaanites, and dark-skinned ethnicities. Third, the LDS cult contradicts God who marked Cain to protect him. Brigham Young wrote, Cain might have been killed, and that would have put a termination to that line of human beings. Let's take a break. So perhaps you'll subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button, the thumbs up icon, and the notification bell. If you don't, Joseph Smith may come back to life and become your wife's best friend. Seriously, we appreciate your support. Astonishingly, Mormonism now unbelieves the curse of Cain insisting the official LDS doctrine from 1849 until 1975 was never a church doctrine. The cult's convictions cave when convenient. In contrast, the Bible is an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 19. A Wikipedia article, Black People and the Mormon Priesthood, says, Blacks of African descent were prohibited from taking part in ceremonies in LDS temples, attending priesthood meetings, and speaking at firesides. Spouses of blacks of African descent were prohibited from entering the temple. Over time, dark-skinned people of non-African descent attended priesthood meetings. Some with questionable lineages were given the priesthood such as Fijians, indigenous Australians, Egyptians, as well as Brazilians and South Africans
who did not appear to have any black heritage. That sounds a little too much, like Nazis sifting through family trees in search of Jewish blood. 60% of the cult still believes blacks mustn't serve as priests. Anthropology recognizes three to five races in the human family, and the complexion of each is genetically influenced. Skin tone is also determined by climates, where peoples have lived for generations. Sun exposure triggers vitamin D to produce the brown pigment melanin, nature's sunscreen. In some coastal climates, seafood diets rich in vitamin D also trigger melanin. The human race trumps ethnic differences. Jesus Christ died for every human being and not for one special group. Thank you so much for viewing. It's deeply appreciated. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.